We're here at the 2020 Breslau Rally and we've got 200 vehicles racing. We've got people from all over Europe and even further than that. I remember when, I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. Rally Breslau is uh, a part of my life since the last 20 years. This year we're having the 26th edition of the event. Yeah, that's a lot of history. Yeah, many starts, many ups and downs, many finishes, tears, smiles. The key thing here is we are friends. It's one of those legendary events. It's the Dakar of Europe. It really is the event that everybody aspires to do. There is no other race in Europe where you can race 1,500 kilometers in five days. There's no other race that has this kind of organization where we have quads, UTVs, race cars, motorbikes, and most importantly, these racing lorries. I mean, have you seen these guys? They're crazy. Does that make me crazy? They call it the Dakar of Europe. I don't know if that can be compared to the Dakar, but definitely the Rally Breslau has a magnetic and one-of-a-kind atmosphere of being a family. Oh yes, it's, uh, it's really fun. I mean, the harder it gets, the most satisfaction you get out of it. We uh, usually grab each other because we are happy. And uh, yes, it's, uh, it's a fun experience. I cross many borders with my racing, so I race Ultra 4. I also race the other trophy raids and winch challenges as well. But Breslau stands alone. It is that trophy raid event that everybody wants to do. If you love long kilometers, if you love being in the forest, deep water and adventure, Rally Breslau is the race for you. Depending on what you really want and in which direction your heart beats, at the Breslau you can get it all. You can start in the extreme class and really challenge yourself and your machine by passing through impossible obstacles or if you want to drive fast and really uh, see your adrenaline up to the top when you're really speeding up through the forest you just book cross country. We came into the Breslau and we like the style of racing. Cross country is for sure fun as well but it's nothing for us. I'd definitely say it's a friendly race. The competitors would help each other out. We're very good friends with a couple of the other top teams on the, on the course. We want to beat them, but in the pits, you like having a beer with them. It's a nice race to come to, especially with weather like this and this kind of area. People are here to have a good time. We don't have only professional drivers here. There is so many gentlemen drivers. There is so many people that would like to enjoy the contact with the nature and living with other compatriots for a week. Like my drivers used to say, is uh, it's like an orchestra. You've got the car, you've got the driver and the co-driver and everything has to work together. The Breslau is one of the very, very few events that are known to me that they offer a night stage driving in complete darkness. You wouldn't believe how different it is when you are out there. Sure, you have your LED lights all over the place, but that's just not the same. A human being is an animal made for the daylight. No matter how experienced you are, as a driver or co-driver, it all looks different. The world is a different place at night. I just started on a hobby base in 2010, and then it really grew as a passion, because uh, once you, are, you try it, you're just enticed to go on and go on and go on. I think it's a, it's a complete package. It's not only going fast, but you have to think, you may have to make decisions during your race. 
And uh, of course, the navigation. The Breslau Rally is specialized in difficult navigation. A nice feeling, you're just focusing on the track, on the navigation, on the trip master, on the surrounding, but you just don't have time to think of anything else. Plan A is always stay on a bike. If you can make it like that, then you will have a good rally. You know, I like racing, you know. It's, it spins me up, you know. It's a adrenaline, it's a rush. You know. it's, yeah, I'm an adrenaline junkie, I think. The, the main aim that you should pursue is to finish the race.